Hey everyone, welcome back to another week's video. The date is June 17th. I'm sorry, July 17th. And let's get into this week's video. So to start off right here, we've got a chameleon spiny eel. As you can tell, he's got some really awesome patterns and colors with fairy shades of brown. This guy right here is one of the smaller growing eels, only reaching about uh, between six to eight inches long in captivity. Um, so not too huge, you know, could probably be kept in a 55 gallon or more long term. They are pretty small right now, so you can definitely grow them out in a smaller tank. Next up, we've got a, a very, very beautiful, one of my personal favorite eels is the fire eel. So this guy is, on the other hand, one of the larger growing eels in uh, that you'll find in captivity. So they typically grow about two feet long in captivity, but have been reported getting up to three feet if kept in the right environment. So keep that in mind. You probably want these guys in at least a 125. Um, so with the eels, their personality, they're mainly nocturnal hunters. They tend to be a little bit more shy during the day, as you can tell. These guys like to hide, but you can see they're looking around, looking for food. Um, so yeah, super awesome fish. Come check them out. Alrighty, so next up we have some stunning female koi beta fish. As you can tell, they come in a variety of patterns and colors. And so with female betas, uh, contrary to popular belief, you actually can keep them together in a sorority tank. Um, with that though, you typically want to do minimum of about five female betas and in at least a 20 gallon tank. So they do get along for the most part. You sometimes will see them uh, squabbling a little bit as they try to figure out who's going to be the dominant female in their group. But typically once they get through that stage, they calm down and are super, super peaceful and I really like to see them in tanks because like I was saying, you get a bunch of different fin types, color varieties and patterns. So they really, really make your tank look like a bowl of Skittles. Come check these beautiful girls out. Alrighty, so next up we have a super unique fish that is actually one of my favorite types of gouramis. This is the chocolate gourami. So as you can tell, super unique body shape and color with the dark brown and hints of gold on the body. These guys are super unique for gouramis in the terms that they are actually prefer to be in groups. They're super peaceful, so they get along in groups. Uh, they're pretty small growing, only getting to about two inches long, so you can keep them in smaller tanks. Um, super interesting fish, really cool behaviors. They are a little more shy, so pre preferably keep them with uh, smaller, more peaceful less boisterous fish, but you definitely can keep them in most tanks as they're a very versatile fish. So come check these beautiful guys out. Alrighty, so next up we have the purple pencil fish. So these guys are still just getting acclimated to our tank and are also pretty young. So they don't have their full coloration yet, but as you come and look in our, dis our newer display tank, you will be able to watch them grow and mature as they grow. But these guys are super, super beautiful fish. They got those really bold stripes along their body. And as they mature, they're going to get bright red. Um, they are super shy. Um, so definitely keep them with the smaller fish that aren't going to make them hide. You can also keep them as like dither fish for smaller South American cichlids like epistogrammas. And um, also a great uh, fish for blackwater tanks as the color really pops in the the darker tinted waters so definitely come check these guys out and if you'd like to order some let us know as these are the type of fish we will do uh, special orders for alrighty so last but not least we have some really stunning diamond tetras so these guys are a little bit of a larger growing slightly more uh, nippy tetra so you definitely want to keep them with a larger fish that can handle a more boisterous uh, schooling fish. As you can tell, they get their name Diamond Tetra by the beautiful shimmers on their body when they hit the light. This right here is a stunning male. You can see him flare up his fins. And there's a beautiful female. You can tell the difference in size and also coloration. Um, so these guys grow about two, two and a half inches in captivity. So I'd say 
at least a 20 gallon tank or larger. Definitely come and check these out. As always, thanks for watching and we will see you next week.